Hello there, only one Kenobi here. Now this is the video one that I know a lot of you have been waiting for, but here it is now, this is the tour of the barge. Now then, with this video I just want to show you the exterior. Uh, you caught a glimpse of it already on the video I just uploaded today actually. This is, what day are we on today? This is Thursday this. Thursday the 11th of April. And now I'm going to show you the exterior in a bit more detail. And also I'm going to show you what figures I've got set up on it. But the first thing I want to show you is this thing here. Now in the movie I think that that's down. These are all open in the movies, you know. This, the fact that you can open that there, that is just so Star Wars bit vehicle slash Star Wars toy that is. If you know what I mean by this, Sand Crawler has one of them, like a little hatch on the side. So does the AT-AT. And the fact that I love having the, I keep this open because it's just so reminiscent of, you know, Star Wars visuals got of, of yesteryear, you know what I mean? I love that. So that's how I have it like that. I mean, obviously these are all flaps and vents here, but I don't know where, uh, maybe it's this flap. All these should technically be openable, but these are the only ones you can open. But I think that uh, Luke pulls a weak way out of one of them. But anyway, that's cool. I love that. I just thought I'd let you know that. See what you think. Does it give you nostalgic feelings too? <laughs> so this is the Katana Sail Barge. You've already seen an opening video of mine and a reaction, which I was, you know, absolutely made up to receive it and uh, mesmerized by the size of the box and the whole process of uh, putting it together of which I have to say the sails were that was a nightmare that was really stressful putting these on you really do think you're going to break them and I was having trouble putting them on the right way and oh nightmare but anyway we can talk some more about that in a minute but it's obviously so well made I was very lucky excuse me because I've heard a few nightmare stories about people who've had well, I, I say I've, I've heard a few. I've heard rumours that people have had jabbers with, you know, two right arms, but that fortunately has not happened to me. And also, the box came in really good condition. So here we are, folks. This is just my. This is my video, where I'm just going to show you what I've got on there. Like I say, if you want to see a really good all-around barge video, then I highly recommend Victoria's Cantina. She does the whole thing, unboxing, shows you it's set up. And also Chris from the Collector's Hut, he does a good video as well. Um, but here we are, I mean, the features of the thing are incredible. I mean, look at the weathering and the detail of these cannons. I have Vizam on board um, and I've put, this, this came with his figure, but look at the difference between the quality of that compared to the quality of that which came with the barge. Look at the metallic feature of that, unbelievable. And also the cannon on board as well. As you would have seen if you're someone who's seen other reviews, everybody says how good that is and it really is premium that. So, let me just pull this back a minute. What I've gone for is, I've mocked my barge up to, to kind of represent not the Return of the Jedi. A lot of people would have gone for having figures on there that suit the battle of the Pit of Carcoon, you know, in Return of the Jedi, when this thing gets, spoiler alert, <laughs> gets blown up, destroyed, Jabba, Jabba gets killed. Um, I've gone for, and this is inspired by the movie Solo, I've gone for a kind of like an average cruise in a period, I don't know, before A New Hope maybe, you know, this this thing would have been used multiple times by Jabba the Hutt. He used it to, you know, it said, says on the box, showcase his wealth, chaperone, no doubt, his entourage and do business on it. So, as I say, inspired by Solo, you've got Dryden Voss in that movie, Solo. Dryden Voss, he goes around on his yacht and he's got all sorts of people on there. So... I've got a little cast of characters inside. Stay tuned. I'm going to open it up and show you what I've got on there. Who I've got on there, sorry. Uh, and I'm quite happy with it. Because it's... Um, you know, I could have had Luke on there. And I, I don't have a bikini layer. But she, all that is a potential for another day. But for, the, for now, I've put these goons on. I've got Woof on there. I love Woof. That figure's incredible. Um, the scale of this, some people have said about the scale of the Katana and they're not happy with it, but to be honest with you, it is so big, it's four foot long, and I know the figures are 3.7, but they, they look tiny compared to the whole vehicle. If you really wanted to go for scale, now I'd say a human, so this is about three and three quarter inch there, 
of which he's taller than these slits. In the movie, I'd say, uh, if you put a Lego man next to this machine, this vehicle, sorry, that would be, then be in proportion to how it was in, in reality, you know? But come on, I mean, even a Lego man is, this, he's twice the size of a Lego man, but still, I think the scaling's awesome because otherwise they'd have to make it bigger and stuff, but pff, I'm happy with that. It still looks pretty good. I don't want to have too many goons on the roof. As you might know, or you will know from my last video, I have acquired more goons, and I've not opened them yet. I got him yesterday. He's going to go on here, because he's definitely a katana man, as opposed to a skiff, and then he's going to go inside. Can't wait to open him. The reason I haven't opened them yet and put them inside is because I've set it up the day I bought it and put them all in, and I want to show you what I settled on, because otherwise you know how it is. I'll be changing things around loads. So, here we are. So it's nice to see Woof on board. It's nice to see Vizam with his cannon. <laughs> I like Vizam. He just goes mental in, the, in Return of the Jedi, firing that thing off. And I've got, you know, I love Nikdo. He's one of my favourites when I was a kid, and I you know, remember him. Um, and he's more of a skiff man, but, you know, God, Jabba would have put them wherever he told them, you know. They, it's all relative. And this guy's a skiff man, but I like to see, I love Barada. He's not, <clears throat> correction, I love Kithaba, and he's just cool on the front there, and you know, I'm very happy. The other features are, check it out. <laughs> That's a trapdoor that leads down to the prison. Amazing. I hope this is not too dark for you. I've tried to light this as best I can. You'll see it in other videos. I just want to give you an overview, you know. I don't want to be, like, covering absolutely everything. There's so many features. Uh, get out of the way, Vizam. See? All that from the movie, all this is fully articula articulatable and <laughs> movable and please excuse me, these flaps and all that, and it's, just, it's just brilliant. So much to show you and look at these things like this, people have been showing that off in their videos as well. The detail and quality, of it's just fantastic man, it really is, it doesn't half kick ass. I'm not much of a vehicles man. But you know what, I am very glad that I have invested in this. Now, I told you about the sales being a nightmare. That one I did correctly. This one here, I was a bit stupid. I had the, the, the supports underneath back to front when I tried to put the canvas on. And I thought I'd permanently damaged it because I kind of stretched it the wrong way. There was a bit of a crinkle here. It's fantastic. It's really good because I've managed to just, you know, just pull it, do some tension on it, and I've now straightened it back out again. So I'm really happy about the sales. I thought, I'd, I really did think... Number one, I thought I'd broken, I would break them, they did a snap in the process of putting the supports on. But also, I actually thought I'd permanently crease them, you know, damage them. But no, it's all, it's all good here. So I have decided, because it's purely for space purposes, that the only place I can keep this beast is here in, this is my living room. I don't usually have Star Wars things in this living room. I have that in a separate collecting room. But do you know what? This just looks so good anyway. I'm sure even uh, someone who is not into Star Wars will look at it and think, what, 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 what is that? In here I have... I've got John and Paul. Do Right there. Uh, <laughs> and that's about it. So now I have Star Wars invading my whole house. But who cares, man? It's all good. Would you like to see what's inside? Join me. Boom. Bam. We're back. Just bear with me. I'm going to take a few more panels off. I just don't want to bore you. But uh, there's loads of panels to take off. I'm actually going to take off the cockpit as well. Because I have decided... I was going to not put anyone in the co cockpit. But I've actually just settled on who I want to put in there. Now, everyone shows this as well in their videos. It's, but it's true. I shall show you again. Look at the quality of the inside of the panels. Look at that. Premium. So... Should we have a look inside? Let's start with His Excellency's main audience chamber. Now oh, then. <laughs> as I say, I haven't opened my yak face yet, but... So as I say, we're going for a time period, you know, pre-Return of the Jedi. And as I said in a previous video as well, I've got a mixture of, you know, I've got bounty hunters, I've got pod racers. I love the idea of Jabba being a fan of pod racing. And having on board pod racers, uh, you know, if he follows the sport, he'll like to this fet looking in, in the back there, that is not C-3PO. This is what I could do again, some light in there. That is, I don't know his name, T, oh, I've forgotten his name. T, oh, <laughs> let me know in the comments. 
Uh, he's in the back because that was the one that f featured in the Clone Wars um, animated cartoon. Have I got the DVD? I don't think I see. I did have before. It doesn't matter. Yes, I do. Right down here. Excuse me. He he appears in that. So I thought that's cool, man. I've got that figure. I'm gonna have that in there. There is Jabba himself. Awesome. Might be a bit too bright that now. There, move that away. Mahanik. Um, we've got, uh, yeah, Sebulba. Now, what I did was I took Sebulba's helmet off because why would he be indoors with a helmet on? So he now looks, I'd forgotten how good he looks without his, his mask and helmet on. He looks great, Sebulba, there. Um, that's how he would have looked in the market with Joe Strudham 9 when he sort of has a fight with uh, Jar Jar Binks. So who is the, re the rest of the entourage? Like I said in a previous video, I think I did a video of who I want to put on the barge. And I wanted to have Vizam on there. Not that Vizam, uh, Bom Vimdin. So he's there. I had to put him on. I know it was a bit cliche having him there. But this is the more important action in the back here. I've been obsessed with this idea of because I love Imperials. And you know what I'm going to do? There's another panel I can take off here. Let's do that now. Excuse me a minute. Get a bit more light in there. Come on. Come on. It's not working. Oh yeah, it's coming now. <laughs> you see, I'm very conscious about taking these flaps off and stuff. I don't want to be breaking anything. It's a very strong, well-built piece there. There's the oh, hang on, wooden floors. Nice. So in the back, we've got a little meeting. Jesus, I need to sort the light out in my feet, my videos. It's just a rough idea. This folks, bear with me. I've got a little cluster of Imperials having a meeting with that man there, which is... Uh, what's his name again? I've forgotten his name. Uh, Mosseb Bined. So I like that. You might recognise I've got uh, Aura Singh wandering in the background there. And I have no band, actually, but this guy, I just... You know, what it is, is I didn't want to have too many figures in, man. But then, the day I bought this, you just get carried away. And you think, oh, he could go in. Oh, I've got to put him in there. But I've stretched them out. He's just sort of hanging out there. I'd like to know his name. It's not Snaggletooth. I think it's... There's two Snaggletooth. He's like... Is he, he's got a name like Vizam or something like that. Or Duck, I can't remember. Let me know if you know. And then, in the background, I found a place for... I did say I was going to put the Power of the Force 2... Bo Bib Fortuna in there, but that's too bright. Hang on, man, this is a nightmare. Um, I've put in the the actual vintage 80s. Now, that's me distributing the classic vintage 80s figure, which I had as a kid. Um, I know that Bib doesn't really have a kind of a beige gown, but I just... And he, he's looking off that way, because he looks better that way from the back. Um, so he's, uh, he, he's obviously looking towards me, because you can imagine... Bib Fortuna, lord in it, can't you? He's obviously the major, major domo, the butler, the head of service for this fella. You can imagine him being a bossing him around and whoever else, all the skivvies underneath him. So that's my main audience chamber. A mixture of bounty hunters, smugglers, pod racers and imperials i love that they're doing a little bit of business with jabba's accountant that's who he is what's he called Moseb Binhead. that light is way too bright man i'm just gonna go back to there you go that's better i think it's generally quite poor the camera quality uh, compared to you know i need to get myself an hd camera i was saying that the other day there's that lovely um rancor there Fantastic. And there's also a Gamma Rain Guard. Speaking of Gamma Rain Guards, I have one on order from Dark Side Toys. This ship does need one of them. Definitely. I need to have him on there. So then let's go down the line now and see who else we have. We've got, now in the armory here, I've got <laughs> Bosk having a little conversation with Greedo. I thought I'd just have Greedo hanging out. So he's just, you know, kind of having a chat with Bosk there. To put in the foreground a smaller figure, like force perspective there. Uh, a small jower hanging out in the back. I like that. I did have Fett talking to him, but I, I realised I needed... I didn't have Bosk in, and I wanted... And then I realised it's Bosk. As I was saying to Bosk Bounty the other day, he's such a good figure. And he is part of the whole entourage anyway. I had to have him on. So he's in there. And then I've got Fett is the one just, you know, he's like vigilant, this guy, isn't he? So he's there keeping an eye on these guys. 
Anyway, so there you go. That's the armory. And then we move to the kitchen. And then these guys are just hanging out there. That is Snaggletooth there. That's a lovely figure. And the other thing about this barge is premium features, lovely weather. And look at the paint jobs on all of it, man. Certain figures work on it. Like these figures are all vintage collection. The, the paint applications on all of these guys are so good. They work so well with this vehicle. So I wouldn't for a minute want to put on a crap looking figure, you know, because it would just bring the whole thing down. So I've gone for premium figures. That's why I went for, I didn't choose the Power of the Force 2, what's he called now, Bib Fortuna, because yeah, he's got funny tentacle joints. Anyway, moving on, so here's the armory. I'm just, he looks great, man, just hang, lurking in the kitchen. And yes, you saw it correctly, this is a young Han Solo I've got here. <laughs> you could have a modern day Han. Or an older hand, I mean, but I thought I'd go for because I love Solo a lot, and I thought, you know, this could be it. The first time he meets him, just before he's led through, this is it. They're just making their way down the barge to the main audience chamber, and that is it. Um, I've got them set up like this, and they're not going to get touched now. I'm just going to have it shut like this because I'm happy with this. I might open it one day and change it round, but to be honest, um, I'm happy with this like it is now. It's good. Uh, again, I thought I just couldn't resist putting these guys in. This is great. Garin Dan, you know, why not, man? Why wouldn't he have business with Jabba? He's a spy. He's a Mos Eisley hangaround. So I think someone in the comments did confirm that he has done business with Jabba, as has this man. I, I wanted to know about him, how he fitted in with the Jabba um, enterprise, but apparently he does. So, and then... <sighs> Do you know what? In my loose figure video, which you may have seen, I didn't include him. I have a box of bounty hunter figures loose. Unfortunately, he was in my Rebels box. He ain't no Rebel, he's a bounty hunter. So I would have featured him in Potentials for the Barge because not only is he an awesome figure and he just fits in like a glove to the colouring and the scheme of this vehicle, but he would so have been involved one way or another with Jabba the Hutt, given these guys are and he would have stepped onto the katana. Now the jail is just behind there. I'm not really showing you many of the action features here. I'm just really talking about characters and stuff, but the jail is in there. There's the hammerhead, and I was gonna put an, an old Han Solo I custom made that was head swapped. He looked like a generic kind of smuggler, but I will at some point in the future. So there we go. There's other things to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Han and Chewie have just hit the deck. So they're going to get moved. Now the cockpit. I wanted to be very careful with who I put in there. Now I have these two weak ways. Now I know weak ways are skiff, but uh, they're lighting okay. Just bear with me one moment, please. Look at the antennas, by the way. These are awesome. They're made out of rubber so they don't uh, snap or whatever. Now these are technically the same character, but because there are more than one weak way in the universe, because they're a species, I figured that these two figures that are portraying the same character could be two different weak ways. This is the 1983 or whatever figure. This is the Power of the Force 2, so that's about 95 or whatever it was. Maybe later, I don't know. But they look pretty good in the cockpit, man, and there they are. Uh, there's no windows, obviously, to the cockpit, but uh, I presume they can look at their monitors here. And I'll just take the uh, figure out just so you can see the nice detail of the seats there. Thank you very much if you're a dedicated follower to this channel and you're sticking with this. I do apologise about the lighting. Very conscious about the presentation. There, yeah, that's a bit better. Presentation of what I'm trying to show you here because it's important that I'm going to really, I'm going to consider investing in a better camera soon. So look at this, just an unbelievable vehicle, man. Really good. And I'm so glad it is in my living room because it is kind of hard to take your eyes off it. Brilliant. I get to see it a lot. And you will enjoy it if you get have one. And you've been seeing it on as well. <laughs> um, in your day-to-day -day sort of activity. But anyway, that is it, folks. That's all I really want to show you. That's just the barge. If I've missed anything out, I do apologise if you were looking for this something specific. But pff, put in the comments what you want to see and I will make another video. But that is how I have it set up. And it is... Uh, Something I'm very happy with. So there you go. 
Thank you for joining me today. I'm now going to go and I'm going to open this guy. And I'm going to open this guy and put them on. The reason I haven't opened them before this video is because I did that on Monday. I was really happy with it and I didn't want to balls it up, you know, because otherwise, <laughs> like, OCD will take over and I'll have to move him over there. Oh, I'll have to put him there. <laughs> I didn't want to go through any more hassle. I was already up till about 2 in the morning on Monday sorting it all out. But it looks cool, man. I love it. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only one.